What's going on guys? It's Nuke Jesus and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to hit Terror Level 5 in the brand new limited time mode that's part of the new Warzone Halloween update. This mode is called Purgatory and it's available only until the end of Season 6. So if you plan to do this, do it sooner rather than later. So to reach Terror Level 5, what you need to do is get 20 kills in a row without dying, but there's a catch. Every few kills you get, your terror level increases, and with each new terror level you go up, you show more and more on the radar for enemies until you reach terror level 5 and you have a permanent skull over your head for the whole lobby to see. Terror level 1 is light radar, terror level 2 is fast radar, terror level 3 is constant radar, terror level 4 is advanced radar, and terror level 5 is a permanent skull over your head similar to the champion's contract, turning you into the highest priority target. When you're the highest priority target, if you happen to be in the vicinity of anyone else, all mercenaries, zombies, and attack choppers on the map will ignore all other players completely and only target you. Now I've seen a ton of people trying to do this by sitting around the map on the very edge with snipers, but I found my method to be the most successful. In fact, after the several hours of me playing this new purgatory mode, I never saw a single other person reach terror level 5 besides myself. Now the first step here that I like to do is go to the top of the water tower and create as much noise as possible. You want to make the rest of the lobby really mad and get them all trying to drop on you and kill you. Once the lobby all seems to be targeting the water tower, you will then move to the location you see me at here on the screen. The reason this is a good spot is because most people will be distracted by landing on the water tower to claim it as their own, that they won't notice you picking them off as they pull their parachutes to land up there on top. You also have a teleporter directly in front of the helicopter that looks like a big pink ball. There's a challenge to teleport 15 times and you can pick off a couple people parachuting down trying to go through the teleporter. Another challenge is vehicle kills as a passenger in a vehicle. There's a helicopter that spawns directly in front of you that teams will try to take. This is another easy way to pick people off. They also might try to take the helicopter out of frustration to ram people on top of the water tower. Either way, target and take out anyone trying to take the helicopter or trying to teleport. But by all means, make those on top of the water tower your main priority and keep your eyes on the sky and scan 24-7 for anyone trying to drop on you because people love to come back for revenge. Don't let them have it. Now I'm definitely not the best player. I have around an average of 2.25 for a KD. If I was able to do this, then so can you. Even if the water tower isn't that hot, just be patient and the kills will come. If you get too pushy and leave the spot, you could end up dying and being shot in the back, forcing you to restart. Remember, these lobbies last for two hours. Patience is key. And if you're wondering what class setup I'm using, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in the pinned comment. And I just realized I forgot to tell you this, you can see what tier level you're at by how many skulls are lit up below your radar. As you can see, right now we are on terror level two. I'm gonna go ahead and let the gameplay play right now so you can see exactly what I did. I'll jump back in when we hit terror level five.
Alright, so we just reached Terror Level 5 and completed this challenge. I'm gonna go ahead here and just pick off a few more kills, and what you'll notice is very shortly this chopper gunner to my left is going to start targeting me heavily. There's even points here where I flee to a nearby building and the chopper is still able to hit me through some spots in the building. Now this chopper isn't hard to shoot down, just take your shots in between when it's firing and when it's not. Now I ended up running my total kill streak up to about 35 kills and nothing happens past that point. I wanted to see if we would be given a secret kill streak of some kind possibly a nuke but nothing happened so as of right now the furthest you can go for rewards is 20 kills and to my knowledge mercenary kills and zombie kills do not count towards your terror level the only way to increase the terror level that i know of is through taking out other players now if you spent some time playing this mode exploring this map you'll notice that there's a safe area inside of a massive bubble dome on the map this is the same area that you can command other players, but be warned that if you go into this area, you will lose whatever tier level you are on. I ended up losing a tier level 4 by walking in here on my first attempt at doing this challenge. Now right here you can see the chopper targeting me. You can shoot it down if you want, but just know that every time it responds, it will go directly to you and target only you until you die. Another very good spot to attempt this challenge is on top of the lighthouse. You can target people gliding down to you and everyone on top of the prison. If you can get the kills fast enough, this is a great spot, but it's also a very dangerous one. Opening you up to third party snipers, hiding around the map trying to pick off easy prey so they themselves can complete this challenge. Even though the second area is a great spot, I still think my original spot is better, but depending on your playstyle, you might prefer this spot over the other one. I'll go ahead and let some gameplay play right now so you can kind of get an idea of how this spot works. Now if you're at the top of the lighthouse and getting hit or picked off by these snipers on the outskirts, I'll go ahead and run some gameplay of where they like to hide and me taking out these rats. These lazy snipers, because that's exactly what they are, very lazy, seem to think they can just lay out here and take pot shots that take literally zero skill and complete the challenge without anyone noticing. Stay tuned for the end because in just a minute I'll show you exactly how much XP I earn for playing the full 2 hours in this new purgatory game mode along with the tactical nuke ending. So there you have it guys, that's the tactical nuke ending along with a total of 200,000 XP earned for playing the full 2 hour long match. If you want to become a member and help support the channel and get your name shout out in future videos, go ahead and click join to the left of subscribe at the bottom of any one of my videos. Also, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, there's a link to join in the description of every single one of my videos, and also a link to join on my channel. We're going to start doing custom Warzone nights if we can get enough people in there. And also, if you're a YouTube member, you get a special role and special access to different parts of the Discord. Alright, with that being said, if you made this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care and have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Follow